Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay Ruger. This is Lord V, and we're about to do some stuff. Yeah. So we are uh, both putting on our faces together once again. Cause what? <laughs> I don't wear makeup. Neither. All natural. I'm ready, guys. Club ready. What do you think? Natural. The phantom of the So we are getting ready to go to Babes, babes. just to represent and just be a couple kings out on the town tonight. Because Lord knows, uh, there really are many of us here in Richmond. A whole three of us. So I just wish a lot of the kings in our community weren't so, like, aggressive or acted like it was a competition. Gosh, everything's a competition. Okay. And I'm done. Okay, we're darker than you I'm beautiful, I'm gorgeous, I'm a model. I look like Linda Evangelista. Did I stand size? Yes, gotta go. Oh, 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 has running out of powder. <laughs> ah, the definition of a drag king. A lot of people don't know what drag kings are. Drag kings are just the male counterparts to drag queens. What we do is uh, pretty much the same thing. Despite what a lot of queens want to believe, yes, some of us do put the same amount of work into it as the drag queens do. There are various different types of drag kings. There are drag kings who serve realness, and then there are drag kings like myself who are camp. And um, fabulous men creatures like Jay Ruger over here. I... Man creatures are really great way to describe your fabulous drag That's a great way to say it, man creature. Man creature. Like, what makes a drag king is... It's so difficult because, like, we're in this, like, day and age where drag is, like, whatever. But, like, for, in my opinion, what makes a drag king uh, is effort. Like, if you're not gonna, like, put in effort to do something, like, don't, don't say what you're doing is drag. Well, I mean... I think drag comes in many ways, shapes, and forms. I guess it depends on where you're trying to go with your drag, like what your goals are as a drag designer, you know? Yeah. There are a lot of venues that won't book certain entertainers for certain reasons. Some of them and are just sexist. Yes. Yes, very much so. Uh, you know, like for me, what makes like a drag king or a drag queen, actually both, is the presence of effort. It's like effort makes like a really big difference because if you like are putting effort into what you're doing and you're not putting considerable time into what you're doing then don't go around saying that you're a drag king or a drag queen because right. it's an artistic it's, and, it's an art form and effort is very much even as simple as working on your number putting a piece together that's not half-assed um it makes me crazy when people come out asking well, what should my first number be? My immediate response is, well, what should your first number be? Who are you? Like, what does it mean to you? Like, what's the statement you're trying to make? What's your character like? You know what I always say to people when they ask me that? What? Not your favorite song. No. Even though my Never first do your ever... Never favorite song. What was the first song you ever did when you uh, went on stage? As a drag king. As a drag king? Oh, wow. Because mm -hmm. uh, I remember my first, like, time in drag doing... What was my first song as a drag king? I was at Godfrey's. Wow. I want to say it was Scream by Usher. Oh, that's awesome. I really like that. I really, liked, I still like performing that song, but I try not to do it because I feel like it's kind of like an overdone like stereotype for drag kings to do Usher. He's doing Chris Brown. I don't do, I don't do Chris Brown because he's an abusive piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> um. First song I ever performed to was Don Johnson's Heartbeat, 1982, during the uh, same era as Miami Vice. What would you? Who? What are you? What are your some of your favorite fashion icons? Lee Bowery. I'm a big fan of Stevie Strange I of Visage. So, so expecting you to say Lee Bowery. Mm -hmm. That one I that one I saw coming. That that like that that makes a whole lot of sense to me. Stevie Strange is really important to me as well. He was the founder of um. 
Club Blitz in the 1970s, frontman for a band called Visage. Mm -hmm. He is the man behind the success of Boy George, who is also another one of my favorite male fashion icons. And that's a person that I can compare to a lot of Boy George. Just not bad. Boy George is fucking fabulous. See, I'm much more queeny with my inspirations and stuff like that. Like, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, I love like uh, Versace and <laughs> stuff like that, like <laughs> Louis Vuitton. Since I have, like, obviously, I have a Louis Vuitton outfit. You know, like these are obviously like, like I was, I'm, I'm always more inspired by like women and what women are doing. Means I'm kind of tired of being a woman. So I like to utilize the. Uh, I like to celebrate my um, feminine side through masculinity, which is not really something you hear a lot of women say. But you can very much be a feminine and be masculine. You can express your femininity in any way, shape, or form you so desire. And it's just part of your experience in your life. You might want to hold your breath. I paint everything. Just don't get me. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Jay. You know, uh, so I put up that status about like wanting to mentor a drag king. Mm hmm. Oh, a lot of people message me about that. Mm hmm. So, hopefully, something will come out of that. <laughs> and hopefully, we'll have some more talented youngsters running around here. We do have quite a bit. Yeah, I'm like, we have it's... a lot of like potentially like very good kings like on the scene, like ready to go. Oh god, yeah, no, the whole thing is like getting people out of the fucking mindset of thinking that these kings need to be on uh, amateur shows. That's, I mean, I understand the point of amateur shows, but how many amateur shows are these people gonna get before they're booked on cast? I was never in an amateur show before I even got on drag. Like, it was just. It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. I always encourage people to be their own thing. I'm sad to see so much of the community being obsessed with this whole branding thing. Look at how I look on the camera. Oh yeah, looking at yourself on camera is always super it's fun. It's always really bizarre. I love this palette. I think it's my girlfriend Anita Darlings. Um, I didn't mean to steal it from you, baby. I didn't. It was just in my kit. I think it's from the last time we performed together. I'll get it back to you, I promise. But this is a fabulous color to contour the evil alien overlord. Oh, come on, Frank Inverter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got the fan of the opera sucker in my head. Look what you done did now. Yeah, I always have Phantom with the Paradise stuff in my head. And then you just snatch your nose. And you just carve out a new jawline. That's later in the steps for me. As a, a king, what are some things that you've come to realize are different as far as like being a king versus being a queen? Well, drag queens treat me much nicer. But I'm male bodied. Drag queens are vicious to other drag queens. That's something I kind of forgot about until the other day. But, um, yeah, no, there's something about, like, uh, being a drag queen where drag queens are gonna just gonna, they're gonna try their best to rip you a new one. You know, whereas they're just kind of condescending down to kings. Like, when you look at the way kings are treated by drag queens, it's very, like, it's condescending. Sometimes. So it's a totally different, like, attitude that they take towards it. I mean, tonight we're going out to babes to support some of the queens who are very supportive to people like you and especially myself. Right. Babes is the first venue I ever performed in. Fallout is wonderful and Miss Tricky Farm hosts her show at Fallout. Yeah, Mondays are a great time to go to Fallout. You can get 25 cent chicken wings there for, um, before tricky shows. That's a spiel. Only on Mondays, before night, 25 cent wins. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually <laughs> competing to be on her cast spot. Um, yes, Gaga. I'm getting ready to turn it the fuck out. Dude, I had so many people ask me about to like help them with that. Really? Yeah, like so many people. I'm like, y'all, if I was gonna do this, I would just show up and audition myself. Lord V is not just a one character thing. Uh, Lord V is very much Lord V and the Lesser Terrestrials. It's a collaborative of artists who get together and do skits and comedy and performance pieces. So, 
with retiring Bert is gonna open up different opportunities for me to do bigger ads and better costumes and um, feel more of who I am as an artist. I always forget how hard it is to like do your makeup and talk at the same time. I know, right? Um, no matter how many like get readies with me I do, I will never be able to do this without being like uh, hideously distracted all the time. Like, uh, like, like right in the middle of a talking point, just like stopped because I'm like I'm contouring now. Right. Ooh, I have a good thing to talk about. Yes. So, not too long ago, in one of the drag king groups, I saw a picture, and it was this. It was a. It was a female body part the king, and they had posted, kind of like demon look. Kind of. The only thing, like, if you took away the horns away from it, it really wasn't a demon look. You know? And the person's base was entirely in black. I'm trying to think of what you're talking about. You oh, yeah! It. With the gold! Yes. Yes. And, like, I know how these drag king groups go. And like, well, I thought the like the makeup look itself was like pretty talented. Like when I was looking at it, I was like, I know exactly how these drag king groups go. And like my first thought was, oh my goodness, somebody is going to try to recreate this and they're not gonna be good at makeup and they're going to be blackface. Well, everyone's got a little bit of room to grow. And sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error. That should not be the place to start. If you're if you're new to makeup, a black face not the place to start. No. That's just a, that is just not the place. Can you remember, so wrong, uh, so quickly. back when, um, I started putting facial hair on, I remember you saying, like, you were really surprised with how well the hand-drawn facial hair looked on me, and I really encouraged you to try it for yourself. Yeah, I was really against it for a while because I was like, I'd never seen anyone quite execute it well. Cause it's not easy to do like and i you know being a person who can grow facial hair i'm just like i'll just grow it and we fine <laughs> unfortunately it's not always that easy for kings but like i never encouraged anyone to like get painted on it because i'm like it's so like it's easy to look really bad like if you're not using very precise lines and shapes and stuff it'll look real weird real quick so i'm trying to figure out what i'm doing i'm like i'm like I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows and i'm like i never finished my nose <laughs> you fucking mess and i'm like i feel like you're moving so much faster than i am it's because i've been lord v forever i've been doing this forever like i've been doing this for so long it's like I, I paint so slow. It's different. It's funny because like if I'm like a makeup artist like on a photo shoot and I'm painting and I'm like doing makeup on models, I'm so fucking fast. Unless I did it on my eyebrows. That's different. I had the time. I could take my time there. I was prepared to take my time. I was like <laughs> thirty hours. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I'm so sorry. You're fine. It's fun. I was like I was like thinking about that. I was like I was so drunk. <laughs> I wish we had more wine. I do, I have a whole box. <gasps> you know what's classic? Box! Is to just remove the bag from the wine, hang it from the ceiling, and just lay it Slap down. that bag! <laughs> Slap that bag! <laughs> yes! Give me a beer? Man, I can slam like, I can slam like a pint in it. It's easier for me to chug a beer in the shower. I love a good shower beer. It's the best thing. It's so underrated. Like. Like, people are like, that's such a redneck thing. I don't give a shit. It's not a redneck thing. Did you know that a shower beer is notorious for helping relieve stress? <laughs> you okay? It seems. And now I get to work on the 30 minute process of carving my eyebrows. <laughs> They're honestly like the best part of my makeup. It's I kinda, intense. it kinda sucks. Like. I talked about that with you in the the last time we did makeup together. Like I have the, I, well, it's not on video now, but then, but now it will be. That I feel like really pressured to have perfect eyebrows all the time because it's kind of like what people like note me for, and like mm -hmm. everybody talks about it. Like, 
mine's always a contour. I love a good contour. So I want to talk about this for about a second. This is amazing. Um, if we can get a. There we go. It looks like it's got it. It's this. This is. It's really bizarre. It's amazing. Can't really see. I'm trying to hold it up to your forehead so we can see the detail in it. But <laughs> hold on. Let me just draw on my hand so you can see what this uh, liner brush does. Does she just say I have a big forehead? No, you had a pale forehead at the moment. Look, like they can't see it here. They can see it now. They can't <laughs> see it. There. See it now. Pasty ass motherfucker. I wish I could do brows that quickly. Like, I wish she could just do this, like, whip, like, single motion and have a brow on. It really, like, my biggest pet peeve is when drag queens just sit there and they'll just, like, they'll just, like, be like, whip. And it looks, like, wonky as hell. Did you call my brows wonky? No. <laughs> just I know you didn't. You wouldn't have the balls. <laughs> I would definitely block you on Facebook first, then go and vague book about it as other people send me screen caps of everything you're doing. Who are we gonna piss off next? My goal is by is by 2019 to be banned from every bar. <laughs> cause I'm already there, cause I'm so banned from Fallout. <gasps> Hashtag banned for life. <laughs> I can't do it. You know, I wish we'd get better at answering messages. Who? Fucking, um. Michelle? No, I don't have I a love Michelle. She, I don't have a problem rude. with Michelle. Like, Michelle might take like a week to get back to me, but she will always get back to me, you know? I've never had a problem with that with her. She's always like eventually gotten back. Dreama. Oh, she's really busy. Between I know, school I and know. I live for Dreama. I love her to death. She catches a lot of shit in the community, sadly. I think oh, a lot of people know, She's very different and very fun and very, um, very inclusive. No, no, no. I love her to pieces. She's a really nice person. But, like, I, I shit you not, like, she'll be like, oh, girl, I'll get right back to you in, like, an hour. Three days go by. <laughs> distracted. And hosting, no, nothing. Hosting a million and one shows. She does like, too much. She really is unbelievably, 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 unbelievably busy. Well, the thing I'm const I constantly hear, like, because everybody bitches about Dream Bell. Everybody. I, it's, that's, that's one thing that I, I don't get it. I'm like, people who haven't even met her bitch about her and I'm like I can relate to that what I fucking hate the most about the drag world is people will so much rather sit and talk about each other before they talk to the people you're talking about girl I'll say it or, to anyone's um, face I don't well, <laughs> I'll say anything anything I think anything I think about somebody I'll say it to your face um that's why I'm, oh shit I'm sitting here saying it on video and it's gonna go up on my YouTube channel uh, no I love her to pieces I don't talk bad about anybody even even when I just don't like somebody like I'm not gonna go out in the community and talk bad about them but, <laughs> you know, like... It's gonna happen everywhere. But, I mean, even... It's fine. Like, I don't care if people say bad, bad on me or whatever. Like, you can. Go for it. You're not gonna catch me. Like, people will be like, Oh, what happened between you and so-and-so? None your damn business. That's what happened. <laughs> You're banned. Everywhere. I'm like, I'm like straight up in love with Dolores' face. Because I'm like... It's it's a really bold choice as for a femme queen. My favorite thing is when she's about to do events for Fallout, I'll wake up after taking a nap to a text message that goes, what color should I do my lips? It's always the one question. She always, she's always like, always asking me, what color should I do my lips? I now, Delora is the sister to Bert Darling because I don't feel like she needs a parent. I share the name with her because she, is polished and she does what she wants to do and we collaborate we're really excited to start doing more stuff together especially as lord v and melissa Leave no reason for you to bind it's like you know it's like enjoy yourself and be comfortable be fabulous be fabulous live your best life you know like, there's no reason for that. i'm not going out in like a cock ring true that's a big difference, I guess, like, between, like, the, like, getting ready, like, at post makeup, because, obviously, at this point, 
I'm spending way much more time with Pico than you. But, um... You have to, like, bind and put on padding and stuff. And I don't... I do that as a queen, but not as a king. It's funny because a lot of kings don't bind or... Well, a lot of kings do bind. Some kings don't. And that's okay because, you know what? Not all men are flat-chested. Um, yes, just like drag, not all drag queens have to wear boobs. Not all is. kings have to pad them down. You don't have to pad. Your elbows can literally have nipples. Yes! <laughs> that is everything. Come on, nipple fantasy. Stick nipples everywhere. Oh, God, you know what? That would be like, that, that would be a really good one for like, for Instagram. A free the nipple campaign. Stick nipples mm -hmm. on your face, <laughs> on your elbows. Does they have to censor the whole thing? Dude, Lord V will do it. I believe it. I would actually live. How long have you been done for? Oh, I'm still adding here and there. Okay, good. I'm like, I feel bad because you're like sitting here like stuck with me in this get ready with me. And you're like, I've been done. I'm an I'm talented. <laughs> it feels so it feels so like so slow right now. But yeah, um, no, like, but no, like, uh, I seriously, like, when I'm painting other people, like, and I'm, like, for, like, a, for a photo shoot, like, I'm painting models, like, I kid you not, over the course of one hour, I changed one model's face four times. Damn, yeah, no, I've been there. I'm, like, I'm, like, I can do it. I just don't, like, when it's my face, it's totally different. Uh, I love this palette. I know, I highlight. I don't, I don't use highlighter or anything shimmery as Lord B. I, I would not be able to help myself. I'm gonna be so real. Like, if someone was, like... Like, don't use, don't use highlighter for, for a look. I'd be like, go fuck yourself. No, no, he's not smart. I'm trading in the glitter and rhinestones for studs and blood. Oh, uh, I will. Oh, hey, look at this. If you like I'll, this. I'll do it all. I'll, I'll wear studs and blood and put pour blood right over my red rhinestones. Yes, I will. Try me. I have, what? I have, I have easily over a gallon of blood sitting over here, ready to go. <laughs> I think that was when, when I started filming is when my obsession with highlighters started because when you see them on camera, it's like, fuck, it's good. Alright, I'm gonna just slide into my stuff. Alright. I'm gonna drop my makeup kit off into my car and go grab my leather jacket. Alright you guys, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, tell us what your favorite part about it was. Did you guys enjoy this Get Ready With Me with Bert Darling, Lord V? Bert's dead. Not yet. He is now. Ah! Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, you have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye!